We also see a lot of benign tumors. The, probably the most common benign tumor that we evaluate and treat for gamma knife is what's called a meningioma. It's a tumor that comes from cells that make the lining of the brain, so it can occur anywhere in the brain, on the, on the top, in the surface, in the skull base. The other thing about gamma knife is that we're able to treat non-malignant tumors, and actually we frequently treat a lot of non-malignant tumors. We treat uh, meningiomas, for example, which are benign tumors in the brain, and sometimes they're in areas that can't be surgically removed, or they can only be partially surgically removed, and that allows us to come in and we can treat those areas and get the patients to have durable control of that disease and they don't have any uh, long-term toxicity from that, ideally. Uh, additionally, we treat arteriovenous malformations, which is a vascular malformation in the brain, which can bleed and can cause a stroke, and these are very dangerous. So frequently, the, we work with our multidisciplinary team, with our neurointerventionalists and our neurosurgeons, and maybe we're able to block some of the arteries to slow off or embolize these tumors, but we might not be able to get it all the way embolized, and then we can come in and clean up with this high-dose focused radiation to get the bleeding to stop or to prevent it from happening. There are vascular entities in the brain, most particularly something called an arteriovenous malformation, where there's an abnormal communication between arterial or high flow blood and low pressure veins where there's no intervening, what's called capillary bed. And gamma knife radiosurgery has been shown to be very effective in, in treating those. Acoustic neuroma is another tumor that we frequently treat. And with acoustic neuroma, these are tumors that can involve a nerve that goes to the ear. And patients have hearing problems and tinnitus, you know, ringing in the ears and these type of things. And while sometimes they can be surgically removed, often there, that has some toxicity and it's better to just treat it with radio surgery. And the patients tolerate that well and we're able to preserve hearing frequently with many of those patients. We see a condition called trigeminalgia, which is a very intense facial pain syndrome for which gamma knife radio surgery, there's no tumor involved, but radiating the nerve actually involved, what's called the trigeminal or the fifth cranial nerve, can be a, quite a successful way to help alleviate the pain that those patients suffer with. Another tumor that we frequently treat as trigeminal neuralgia. And this is when the trigeminal nerve, where it comes off the brain stem, causes a great deal of pain uh, for the patient. And while there are some neurosurgical procedures that you can do to palliate that pain, we find patients sometimes are unable to you know, relieve that pain with these procedures. And the Gamma Knife offers us uh, a very specialized tool where we're able to put very high doses of radiation very close to very eloquent parts of the brain and the patients are able to get it treated in one treatment. They tolerate it quite well. The radiation dose we give benign tumors is almost 50% less than the dose that we would give a more malignant tumor. So yeah, it's all, but it's all done based on imaging. So a lot of our time in Gamma Knife, truth be told, isn't spent with the patient. It's sit, spent in front of a computer, drawing out and creating plans and things like that that allow this machine behind me to do what it does and deliver the radiation in the precision way that it does.